Welcome back to our channel. We're trying to hide our freezer on a balcony and it's really not working out for us because we tried this. This is a tarp. And as you can hear, the tarp makes noise. And so you hear that, right? And uh, it's ugly. And we, we thought that by getting a white tarp, it would blend in with the trim work of the balcony and it does not. And it just makes noise and it's ugly. Did I mention it's ugly? Because it's ugly. So you may ask yourself, Mr. Gizmo, why are you trying to hide a freezer outside and not just put it inside? Well, this is a rental and we really have no room to put the freezer inside the rental. So we had to put it somewhere. And we have plenty of room on this massive balcony that we have, except for it's exposed all the way um, to the street. And when you pull up and things like that, and nobody wants to see a freezer sitting on a balcony outside. It's just kind of an eyesore. So that's why we're trying to hide it. And so we're gonna give something a try here today. We are going to use a sticky paper on the sides of our freezer to camouflage it like the jungle, apparently, because that's what we got for paper. But we feel like this will not be as distracting as this. And this comes down, some, like we, we actually now put it up pretty good, but um, it used to come down in windstorms and that sort of thing, and it makes noise, like when, when the wind's blowing at it, it makes noise. And frankly, it has a shine to it, which um, if I would have known that, I probably wouldn't put it up either. But any of these tarps, they're not really like a matte finish, they have kind of a shine to it. So this is some heavy duty stick'em paper that has a repeatable pattern. And what's really kind of nice is the repeatable pattern. It shows what the repeatable pattern is. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, repeat. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, repeat. And so uh, basically you can line up the leaves to make it look like an actual jungle, not a fake jungle on your balcony. So we're gonna give this a shot and we're gonna see if this will make it look a little bit better from the street and uh, and so we can actually get rid of this ugly tarp. The leaves look better down or up? <laughs> or don't look good at all. So we're giving this a shot here. And we clean the freezer really good first. This is a peel and stick wallpaper that we got it from Amazon for $20. It's probably... <laughs> what? It's hard to keep a straight face, but it's sick. We bought something for $20 to disguise our freezer on our balcony so people wouldn't complain. It's like making a jungle in front of your eyes. <laughs> but from the, the ground, people will maybe think it's just plants. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to be pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> Jeez, I was looking up at the balcony there. They have beautiful plants up there. <laughs> I mean, right before your very eyes, a jungle is forming. Great, somebody's pulling downstairs. They want to see the jungle. Um, but it actually does go on really kind of nice. Um, if you give it, just give it a little bit, it goes on really nice. Of course, I didn't go over the seal. You don't want to go over the seal really because I'm afraid it's going to hold, hold moisture in there and then get um, black and moldy and things like that. So I want to do that. So that's what, that's the first phase is to really get that, that jungle theme on the outside. Don't worry, we're gonna do the front too. I mean, it'd be crazy not to when it looks this good. <laughs> okay, so the really nice thing about this one, this this paper, and I would suggest you look for a paper that has this, it has a lot of lines and patterns on the back, so it shows the repeatable pattern like I showed you before. And this one happens to repeat quite often, so you don't waste as much of the paper by having, having to cut off that repeatable pattern. So now you can see that when I do this, the leaves look phenomenal and that you will actually have a very, very nice jungle theme. A little bit. Oh, we did a great job on this one. 
Okay, so the only tool I'm really using for this is a scissors and a razor. That's really it. Um, I try to basically try to cut down. I mean, the, the, if you can actually, the full sheets are harder to manage, harder to get straight. So if you can try to cut down when you have, like this is a full sheet from here to here. You can't tell because the leaf looks perfect, but it stops right here. We cut this piece down. So what we did is we measured as close as we could, and then we folded it, and then we cut along the fold. That way it was as straight as we possibly could make it. And the nice thing about the freezer is we just wanted to wrap the corners anyway. So I just wrapped a little bit of that extra right around the corner and it turned out perfect. And wow, welcome to the jungle. Okay, the first step is just to make it easier, we're gonna remove the handle because then we can just kind of cut around this thing. We don't have to get that close or that accurate. So we're just gonna do that and then the paper will go over it and we'll just slit it, put it around the thing, then we'll put the handle back on. We'll probably even wrap the handle maybe just to make it fun. But we're gonna put that up there for now. And then we're gonna start and we're gonna wrap back from the front to the back. And we're gonna make sure to wrap it, keep enough to go around the outsides of this so nobody knows it's a freezer. If we're not getting the hint of that, that's what we're gonna do. We of course need to cut this out so we make sure we have control access. Okay, so we finished the, the front and the side of it. We're gonna do the other side as well, but you can see that now it looks like a big jungle box, which is kind of nice. It looks less like a, a freezer sitting on the patio. And the pattern didn't line up as good, and probably because it's $20 paper, stick-up paper, but the pattern lined up pretty well in a lot of the bigger leaf areas, but it didn't line up as well as you started getting into some of the smaller ferns. But it served its purpose. The refrigerator is not a bright, shiny object that's sitting on a patio that somebody can go and complain about. It doesn't look like an eyesore anymore, and that's really what we're going after. You can do this in your garage. I've seen people do this with furniture as well to get, you know, put something across the back of it just to kind of give it a little bit more color and, and texture to it. And this is nice because it has a texture to it as well, so it's very nice. Um, there are some challenges when you're wrapping it around corners and things like that. It's not gonna, maybe you won't get it as smooth as you like. There's some, we have a couple creases, but it works really well for kind of hiding that eyesore that you don't want everyone else to see. So that's it. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Actually, show us some projects you've done where you've used stick em wallpaper or wallpaper or how you actually, you know, disguise something so it wasn't quite as obvious. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, super thanks is always welcome.